Hello and welcome to this video. Here you see a master 3 bill combination padlock, which I received from Archie Robert James about half a year ago. So Robert, thank you very much for this little toy. I played with this lock since I received it and tried to decode it consistently. I had some openings, but uh, yeah, not really consistently was more like a, yeah, a feeling and uh, suddenly it opened. But I really tried uh, to understand the mechanics of this lock and uh, it, uh, it's not really easy to, um, to understand how it, how it works because the wheels, they, uh, they give weird feedback. So I don't know yet if there are false gates or what other properties the wheels and the shackle have so that the feedback is not really uh, easy to, to understand. But since I uh, decoded this lock, I, I tried to apply the same method on, on the master three wheel uh, lock here and it worked pretty good. So I can show you a very quick opening uh, on this lock. So my, my plan was to show you the quick opening on this lock and then I wanted uh, to open it up and uh, look uh, at the inside because here we have uh, two rivets but as I still want to have one lock to play with I, I bought another one um, and with this lock my, my plans changed because when I tried to apply the same method uh, on the new lock I, <laughs> I failed and um, actually it works the same way but it's, it's much more uh, yeah. Uh, difficult because the tolerances are so much uh, tighter on the new one compared to the old one. So my plans have changed uh, a little bit at least. Um, I will show you the quick opening on this lock. I will hopefully show you an opening on that lock and then I will open up uh, the old lock and we will look inside and maybe it uh, reveals its secrets for us. So hold on for the uh, decoding part. So here's the uh, old lock and it's currently in the opened and unlocked uh, state. I will change the combination. And lock it back up. So now I don't know the combination and I will apply tension with this guy here. Let me zoom in. And when I apply uh, tension to the lock, to the, to the shackle and test the wheels, I find that the first wheel is binding. So actually the binding order is one, two, three. And when I apply moderate or light tension, I can still turn the first wheel, but I don't get much information when I when I turn it, so I cannot really say which one is the, the right number. What I will do instead is I will apply heavy tension, uh, see what the uh, second wheel does, if it uh, can be turned. And if it can be turned, um, the first wheel is not in the right position, so I will release tension, turn the first wheel by one uh, position and continue. So I can do that really quick, apply heavy tension, turn heavy tension turn and so on and so forth and now at zero the second wheel cannot be turned anymore so zero is the, the right number for the first wheel and I will uh, continue uh, with the second wheel by um, using the last wheel for testing so apply heavy tension can be turned heavy tension heavy tension heavy tension heavy tension heavy tension now it stops here, so I know 0, 3 and something is the right combination, as it is, as it is a 3 wheel combination lock, I can now release uh, tension on the shackle and just search for the remaining number and here we are, it's open. So it's really fast, reliable and uh, easy. Now let me move on to the new lock, uh, same game here, I have to change the combination first. Lock 
lock it back up and same game here okay camera would focus so apply heavy tension test the second wheel and just do the same as before four might be the right number as I feel a little bit more resistance now on the second wheel but I will test the remaining wheels as well so seven might also be a good number for four and seven we have we have now okay I I take four so I continue with the last wheel heavy tension heavy tension okay might be five let's see and yes it was five so I slowly get the, the right feeling also for the new one but it's it's much harder as uh, the tolerances are much better still in the in the new one so we have the old one decoded the new one decoded now I will go downstairs and <laughs> open up the the old one drill out the uh, rivets and then we will look inside Alright, I just did a quick look myself, um, off camera, not to mess things up, but here we are. So, the individual components of this lock. Um, I'll start with this uh, spring here. It is um, pushed down by these two elements from the other side of the housing and is itself pushing against the wheels. You can see the springs have a specific shape, which goes into the grooves of the outer wheels and when you turn the wheel it makes this uh, specific sound, these clicks and it also causes the wheel to uh, stop at the uh, yeah, at the whole number not uh, in between so get this off then we have of course the outer wheels which are connected to the uh, inner wheels you can see they are connected by these little uh, knobs here and uh, within the inner wheel we have the, the bolt and connected to the bolt uh, there is the shackle you can see the uh, inner wheels uh, do not take uh, the whole space of the of the of the lock so there is a, a spring that pushes them uh, together so that they so that they do not fall um, at the bottom of the of the lock and this is for for changing the the combination so you see normally the inner wheel and the outer wheel are connected but uh, you can change the combination by um, disengaging this connection I will demonstrate this to you so currently the lock is in the uh, open position uh, I think so I can pull out the shackle and I cannot uh, push down the shackle um, any further if the shackle is closed because it uh, stops here at this point but when I turn it and there is a specific position when the um, other side of the housing is on top and uh, the other side of the housing has a, a groove here on that, on that uh, position so now I can push down the shackle and you can see it, it pushes down the inner wheels against the spring and this engages the um, the connection between the uh, inner wheel and the outer wheel and uh, then I can just turn the wheels, the outer wheels without um, turning the, the inner wheels alright um, there is a little uh, spring here that um, uh, causes the um, the shackle to nicely uh, flip inside um, when you push push on it. 
Um, yeah, so that's basically everything you can uh, look from from that uh, point of view. I will uh, take it apart. You can see here uh, comes off the spring and a little washer. As I said, it's um, used to uh, push the inner wheels together. Um, I can remove the shackle. And now I will take out the uh, wheels and the bolt. I get rid of uh, two of them to only show you one one of these uh, wheels. So as we have seen the outer wheel and the inner wheel are connected by these little uh, yeah, knobs. I hope that's the right name. Um, so that when you turn the uh, outer wheel, the inner wheel is turned as well. So now to the um, to the bolt, you can see it has these um, yeah these. So yeah, I just looked it up, but well, I didn't find a better word than nipples for these guys here. So I will just call them nipples. Yeah, we have three of them on the boat because we have three wheels and when you closely look at them you can see that they are not of a rectangular shape they are a little bit uh, flattened on both sides I would say maybe a little bit more on the right side this could be a reason for less uh, feedback on the wheels uh, might be not not really sure. Um, I show you where the how the inner wheel is connected to these nipples. So here's the the inner wheel with the corresponding groove. It is assembled like uh, like so. You can see um, the part where the where the nipple rides on top of it, it's uh, nice and shiny. Just looks like the nipple has uh, filed down this area a little bit, so this is definitely wear on the lock. Come in. So normally the, um, the inner wheel would turn, but for simplicity reasons, I turn the bolt. You can see how it turns inside. And of course, um, if it reaches the point where the groove is in the inner wheel, it's free and you can uh, retract the bolt if this uh, is done for all three wheels. Yeah, no, nothing special actually, no, 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 no magic. Um, ah, there is an interesting uh, feature in this lock. You can see that the you can see the width of the groove, so it goes from here maybe to there, and so now the lock is uh, locked. I cannot uh, retract the bolt. Now I turn the inner wheel. It's now at the position of the groove, and I can um, pull out the shackle, and maybe uh, until this position and the. Uh, the shackle is now free and I can open the lock, uh, but not more. It's not like that the nipple is going all the way outside. And that's uh, for a very um, specific reason, because if it's still inside the, the groove, I cannot uh, turn the wheel. If it w goes outside the, the wheel, I could turn the wheel. And I can show this to you on the other lock. Um, it's currently uh, open and as now the, the nipples are still in the uh, inner wheels I cannot mess up the combination. You can see I cannot uh, turn the wheels so I cannot end up um, accidentally with a lock that is open but uh, with uh, shuffled wheels so that uh, I don't know what to do when I uh, when I relock the lock. So pretty clever. Yeah, other than that, um, there is not uh, so much mag so much magic in it. Um, but maybe because of 
this here that um, is responsible for the clicks um, on the outer wheel, um, it's a really good measure to destroy feedback. So the lock is uh, closed again and you can hear, you can see and you can imagine that the force that is needed to turn the wheel and the crunchiness, the the feedback I get only uh, from from this uh, spring here is so prominent that it uh, uh, yeah very well destroys a very little feedback that I could get from the from the wheel and the and the bolt. Uh, yeah, and I already tried to to reassemble the lock uh, without the the spring. I mean, I didn't try. I, I, I did it and the feedback was uh, much better. But still it was not an easy game to, to open it with a normal uh, pull picking technique. Alright, so uh, take all the parts together. Yeah, I hope you uh, enjoyed this uh, little uh, decoding uh, adventure and uh, disassembling of the little uh, master padlock. Thank you very much for uh, watching and happy decoding. And uh, again, uh, Robert, thank you very much for the luck. Also not 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 for that, but uh, for this. <laughs> okay, bye bye.